G'day guys, and Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about image-based texturing. What image-based texturing is, is putting textures onto your mesh and putting certain property properties to them, such as bump maps and normal maps. I'll do a tutorial for alpha mapping, but I just have to catch up on that one since it, it is a bit tricky. But I just want to get this tutorial out of the way. Right here you see uh, a plane so right here you see a plane with three monkeys. These monkeys are already UV wrapped with seams on them. Yep. So the first one is col, bump, di col, displace, and bump. On this one, col, we're going to place an image onto it. Nothing else. So go into your node editor, shift A, texture, go to image select the node to cull, shift A, input, texture coordinate and put that to UV. Now if you were to go, let's just save it, now if you were to go into render, alright, and uh, press open and select your texture. So right now, there is now a image texture onto it. Sorry for the low res, it's a low res uh, map. So um, that's cool and everything. Go back to material. So um, that's how you pretty much put an image texture onto it. You gotta keep your diffuse, load an image node, and put it to a UV. Now we can also do. Uh, there's already inbuilt coloured uh, coloured textures. So on select your middle material, press Shift A. Texture. Let's go to clouds. Go to cull. Go to render, and there you are. And you can also change the depth to hard, put the depth a bit more down, put the size. And we can also change this to, let's say, uh, magic texture. You can change the turbulence. Ooh, wow. I'm so high, man. <laughs> uh, let's go to a noise. Static TV noise, texture. Looks like a marble wish texture. Alien brains. Okay, now, what we're also going to do is notice how there's a frack. Now, we're now going to learn about displacement. Now, what frack is, is pretty much the uh, displacement properties of the uh, material you're using. So if I put if I change, put this back to material, to emission, as you can see, there's light hitting off the textures. Now, if I were to change the frack to about even lower, to about... See what this one does, it also... Uh, 20. So if I go right to it, the light grooves will hit it. It looks pretty good. Now with frac, so that's pretty much um, normal and bump mapping, but you can also use a different kind of a. You can also use different. If I were to uh, get a put an image on here, so go to what we did before, put an image here. UV. Let's put an image up. Uh, let's do a different one. Uh, let's put a let's say this this one. And let's now I have a good one actually. Uh, image. So you got to to put an image based normal map. You got to shift A texture. So as you can see, if I were to put a an emission here, so notice how if I put an emission here with the bump map texture on, if I move this around, you can see how the bump map is reacting to the light. Looks pretty sick. So now, 
Let's uh, do another example or test. Delete this and let's go a little bit crazy now. So if I get this out, let's delete the three cubes here. If I smooth this. <clears throat> And let's put a plane here, here, a mission. Here. Oh, hang on. Alright, so go here. Shader, let's do a, a velvet. And let's do a translucent. Go to mix shader. Put this here, put this here, put this there. And let's change this to a blue. Let's change this to a red. Or, uh, and before we do that, let's put a add shader. That's better. That's way better. Alright, now let's put a. Go to clouds, go to frack. Now go. Go to hard. Go to put the depth to about. Four, and that's pretty good and just leave that there to cook for a while and as you can see we have a mix shader with a clouds texture as the bump and that looks pretty sick so thank you for watching my image based texturing tutorial sorry for the glitches and mishaps it is pre-alpha and I will see you next time texture, image, color map, <sighs> fuck, okay, so, second time that shut down, so now if we go back to rendered, fuck trees.